Bernays LGBT community flees inhumane new stoning laws. Hmm. Many in Brunei's LGBT community considered fleeing in 2013 when it said it would adapt strict Islamic laws, including death by stoning for gay sex. Some stoning, uh, some stayed on hoping that it would never come to pass. A young gay man in Brunei spoke to CNN over the phone and said it's really scary, but it was worse than I thought because of the stoning. It made me feel that it comes to reality I might as well just leave. Activists and governments around the world are now urging Brunei to reverse its decision, but the prime minister's office released a statement in defense of its new laws. Uh, I have some opinions on this, but I wanted to, do you want to go first? No, you go first. Okay. So one thing that I found encouraging and discouraging at the same time is that there was a huge backlash against this, right? Internationally, right? Nobody, like mo politicians, celebrities, people are asking for sanctions against any company that deals with Brunei, as they should. And I'm just wondering is that given how much, how angry everybody is that Brunei is doing this to the LGBT community, how come they're not also showing the same level of anger to Saudi Arabia and Iran for being like this for the past 40 years? Um, like, w I mean, I'm not trying to take away from this, okay? I'm saying it's good that this is getting the reaction that it's getting. It's getting a lot of reaction and deservedly so. But Saudi Arabia is doing the same fucking thing. And it's been doing this before Brunei did it, like and Iran against the LGBT community. I want the same. This outrage has to be there for Iran and Saudi Arabia all the time. All the demands for stop to stop dealing with. Where's the demands for stop for deal? Okay, so people are asking all the countries to stop dealing with Brunei because of this LGBT uh, um, stoning law and all the other bullshit that is coming up with. Meanwhile, United States signed the world's biggest arms deal in history with Saudi Arabia, which has the same fucking laws. I know what, like, I mean, not nobody, but how I want the same people to, uh, I don't know. Do you see the hypocrisy here? I, mean, I do see the I, hypocrisy, but I also see... Why, why the outrage all of a sudden? Um, when, when you're born into a world where that's normal for a place your entire life, and then all of a sudden you see a new place that is taking it there, it becomes a little bit more outrageous. Like, yes, these places exist. Yes, they do this stuff. Yes, there should be outrage. But when you see a new place that's saying they're going to do it, that it, it just, it becomes, it becomes even more alarming in my, in my opinion. I mean, of course we should all be speaking out that they're doing this. Um, I know that the UN has been trying to put sanctions on Saudi Arabia saying, you know, they, they've taken over their Wait. women's rights. Um, you they know, Congress Saudi Arabia on. has like, what the hell? And they're like, you know, you need to, you need to start giving people human rights and things like that. And so they say they're working on it. Um, and, and then we see all of a sudden this place just be like, Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to go back to stoning. Uh, our people for for being gay. Um, so I, I, I see it both ways. You're, you're absolutely right. There should always be outrage and it should always be this strong and it should always be this feverish. But at the same time, understand that when we see a new place reverting back to this, it just seems a little bit more urgent. Yeah. Just, well, just to be clear, I'm not saying that there shouldn't be that, that attack on Brunei. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying like, oh, people will stop attacking Brunei because you're not attacking Saudi Arabia. In fact, attack Brunei more, please. This is this is barbaric. For the sake of people there, like, try to, to make Brunei's government suffer. Something has to happen. Yes, attack Brunei. I'm just, I also want to, think to uh, I'm also wishing that people could just not, be okay. we're saying like oh well it's normal in saudi arabia it's normal in iran well it shouldn't be 
It shouldn't be. We just accepted, like, yeah, okay, like, I guess they're gonna stone people, uh, they're gonna kill gay people in Saudi Arabia, I guess that's normal now. What do we do? That's what they do. No! Alright, this should never be something that we ag agree on, ag you know, agree to just, yeah, Saudi Arabia, like, no! And not only we agree, we, it's normal, we put them on human, we, head of the Human Rights Council in the United Nations, right? Which I is mean, insane. What, which is insane. And, at le okay, at least don't sign fucking giant deals with them. I mean, we, we, we talk more shit about Saudi Arabia over one guy, over Khashoggi, than the thousands of other people that they killed. They, they killed witches! Witches in Saudi Arabia were killed, apparently. That's apparently still a thing in the 21st century. And nobody said anything. But Khashoggi, because because he's a reporter, he's a he was a U.S. resident. Again, that should get attention. But people are like, well, we don't, we 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 can't expect people to get outrage over Saudi Arabia because it's normal. Well, apparently we are able to because we put so much pressure on Saudi Arabia over Khashoggi. So don't tell me that's not possible. Saudi Arabia suffered a lot because of Khashoggi. So we were, the international community was capable of putting pressure on Saudi Arabia. They just didn't yeah. care about the gay people there. They only cared about Khashoggi. Which they should care, again, they should care about Khashoggi. He didn't deserve it. But why can't we do this with everything else? Ah, you fucking hell. Well, never mind. I'm going to keep talking if I don't stop myself. Um, <laughs> anything in the live chat? Oh yeah, Sopan is saying it is sad that Saudi Arabia's laws have been normalized in the global society now. Backlash is happening just because Brunei is in, new to this. Sadly, this is social. Uh, this is social nature. Uh, Bij is saying it is still sending a message to those countries who have had this for a long time. For a long time. That's right. Okay. Bij is very right about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sopan. Uh, oh, Ali, I'm getting echo. Uh, Subham is saying both should be equally attacked. The nature of the society should be changed. Yes, I agree, Subham. Um, Ant Atheist is saying if the backlash has Brunei public support, it might be easier to undo and then use that uh, to attack Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I agree, Ant Atheist. As long as we do start using that attack to, uh, to attack Saudi Arabia, but I bet we're not going to that much. And I mean, again, this is why Atheist Republic is now going to be a political movement because we keep complaining about other people not doing these things. And we were like, we're, let's stop complaining. Let's just do it ourselves. Again, so join oh. Atheist Republic as a member to support us doing these kind of thing, stuff. We are, we are going to be, we're going to be, if, if what we're trying to do is, is going to be successful, Ali, we're not going to be like just doing YouTube videos and Facebook posts about it. We're going to be in the streets. We're going to have uh, people in front of embassies. We're going to have people covering this shit on the news. We're not going to just going to be reporting the news. We're going to be, become the news. I mean, we have been on the news a lot of times, but we're going to be trying to do that more. Yeah. Uh, we don't want people to just get away with stuff like this. It's time to time to become part of the solution instead of just complaining all the time. Uh, so I'm saying, let me correct myself. It must be changed. Yes. Uh, yes, we need a. Uh, uh, Rini is saying yes. We need a political movement. I agree. That's what we're doing. Ali, do you want to? Oh, let me see. The, I forgot to read the top comments. Mark is saying religion of peace strikes again. Ah, that gets, that's getting old. Omar is saying religion of peace. Ah, oh, come on, guys. That's just, that's, that's getting... Yeah, okay. Islam is not peaceful. and We all know that now. Let's get past that. True. With, with this punishment, man will think twice before cheating on his wife. What is Omar... Wait, Omar is endorsing this. Holy shit, we have one of the top comments endorsing this. It's a, I think it's a Muslim. By the way, it's a top it's a top comment not because people are liking it. It's a top comment because of the angry and laughing reaction. So Omar apparently is a Muslim and uh, it's the second top comment on this post. And he's saying, religion of peace, true. With this punishment, a man will th think twice before cheating on his wife. This leads to happy family that lead to happy society. Oh, Bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, fucking god. Well, I mean, it's good that Omar is here for us to see that the, that these are... Like, a lot of people see these opinions as just some official summer that, you know, just some fringe ideas. Like, I want more people like Omar to come and show, like, you know, people actually believe this kind of stuff, right? 
yeah, my God. Yeah. You want to punish? Uh, so people think cheating. Oh yeah, P stop people from cheating on their wives by killing them, by stoning them to death. Like yeah, like you just removed one minor evil and you replaced it with a, a horrific evil, astronomically worse. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.